going on guys, my name is Mojo Kicks and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the upcoming Union, Nike Cortez, and the Off Noir and Sesame Colorways. We're going to be talking about everything you need to know about this release as well as my resale predictions, but let's get right into it. Nike Cortez and the Sesame and Off Noir colorways are set to be releasing on this Tuesday, July 21st at 8 a.m. PST or 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. They are going to be set at a retail price of 130 USD and will be releasing on the Union site. Union also mentioned on their IG post that there will be two additional colorways coming soon, and those are the two additional colorways that we got leaked as well. So in total, there will be four colorways, and those two additional colorways will most likely drop next month in July or even August. Now, this collection is actually celebrating 50 years of the Nike Cortez model, and the colorways are actually inspired by the city of Los Angeles. Now, this shoe does feature recycled materials on the midsole, which is actually the Nike Creator Foam midsole. You also do have the Nike Grind outsole, and you also have a retooled upper as well. For drop one on July 21st, we will be getting two colorways, the Sesame and Off Noir. The Sesame does feature this beige and red color scheme, which out of the two is my personal favorite, and the Off Noir does feature a triple black upper, and you do have the hints of blue and teal. Both pairs also do feature the classic Union LA tag. You also do have Union and Nike Co branding on the tongues of each shoe, as well as on the heels. And what's cool about the branding on the heels is that you do actually have a flap, and on the flap you do have the Union logo, and underneath the flap you have the Nike logo. You also have co-branded Nike and Union LA insoles. And those also seem to be recycled insoles as well. For the insoles on the Off Noir colorway, you do have the green Nike logo. And for the Sesame colorway, the Nike logo is in a light blue. Both pairs also do come in a special edition Union and Nike box. And this box actually looks pretty cool. The lid of the box is in a yellow color scheme with the Nike and Union co-branding. And on the bottom of the box, you do have the striped pattern and that is in a black and gray. On the front, you also do have the words Know the Ledge. You also do get additional laces with both pairs. For the Off Noir colorway, you do get the original pair of green laces that come in the shoe. And you also do get an additional pair of light blue laces. And on the Sesame colorway, you do get the original pair of red laces that come on the shoe and an additional pair of blue laces as well. Of course, like all Union Nike collabs, you will be getting apparel dropping alongside. As of now, we're not too sure what the apparel is, but expect it to release alongside the shoes on the Union site at 11 a.m. Eastern on July 21st. Also, if there is a sneakers release for both of these colorways, then expect the merch to also release on sneakers as well. And we probably will see a sneakers release most likely in July. And it'll probably be for one of the two colorways as one will be a Union exclusive and the other one will have a wider release. My guess is that the Sesame colorway is going to be the Union exclusive, and the Off Noir will have a wider release on select retailers and boutiques via raffle, and the sneakers release, of course. Now, this release from the Union Nike Cortez will be very similar to the Union Jordan 2, as well as the Union Nike Dunk Lows. So expect the password page on the site. The password page usually goes live around 30 to 40 minutes before the drop. Once the password page is up, you basically just wait until 11 a.m. Eastern, and once it hits 11 a.m. Eastern, just refresh the page, and they will pop up on the home screen. There will most likely be a question and a captcha, as we've seen that on all the previous Union releases. The captcha will most likely be the box drawing captchas, where you have to draw a box around a cat or a plane. Definitely take your time while drawing the boxes. And if you do mess up, you don't have to restart. You could always readjust the boxes from the side. But make sure when drawing the boxes to draw them as close to the object as possible without cutting the object out of the frame. Once you get past the question and captcha and you add your size to cart, you will be put in a checkout queue. You'll also be given an estimated wait time. Once you get past the queue, it's pretty straightforward. You just fill in your info as well as your payment. And then you'll be brought to the processing page, which once it's processed, you will get the order confirmed screen. Also make sure you get the order confirmation email as well. And that might take a little while as there will be a bunch of orders for this Union Nike Cortez. So if you don't get it right away, don't worry, you will get it eventually. As long as your payment gets charged, you should be good. Now, I'm expecting the stock to be pretty good for this drop. For the past Union releases for the Dunks and the Jordan 2, stock has been pretty good. I'm expecting a good amount of Ws for this drop 1, and out of the 2, I've been seeing a little more hype for the Sesame colorway, but I personally think both are pretty cool. Between drop 1 and drop 2, I do think drop 1 is a little bit better for the colorways, but I definitely don't mind the colorways releasing in drop 2 either. So if you do take an L on this drop 1, don't worry, you still will have a second chance on the drop 2. And if you're not a big fan of any of the colorways releasing in drop 2, you will still have a chance for the sneakers release. Now, moving on to resale for the Union and Nike Cortez and the Sesame and Off Noir colorways. Currently, there's not a lot of sales on StockX for either of these colorways, but it does seem right now that they are pretty similar in resale, and that definitely could change if one colorway is more limited than the other. Now, Union always does drop at least one Union exclusive colorway, and the Union exclusive colorway always seems to do the best for resale. I'm expecting resale after the release to come down to around the $200 to $250 price range if stock is good. I really can't see them making any of these shoes limited. There's definitely going to be a really good amount of pairs. Over time, I think the resale could definitely go up, but the Nike Cortez model isn't the most hyped model, so I really don't see it going up too much. And it might take quite a while for these to go up a good amount, but make sure to let me know down in the comments below your guys' thoughts on the upcoming Union Nike Cortez, and which colorway out of the two releasing for drop one is your favorite. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that like button down below, and if you're new here and you haven't already, consider hitting the subscribe button. But like always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.